What's up, Roadie Foodie fam? Welcome back to our channel. Today we are in some new grounds, some new Carry new hood, mm -hmm. new studio. Space. Space. Well, space. We have a special guest today. Hi. <laughs> I'm her sister. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I, I was like, introduce yourself. I'm Sierra. I'm Sierra, uh, Lupe, and obviously you know Carissa. So today Please. we are back with Snack Crate. So essentially, what'd you say? Never mind. <laughs> So today we're back with Snack Crate. Um, every single month we get a different box with uh, from a different location with snacks. So what we'll do is we'll open it up. I don't know what country it is, but let's find out. You ready? Oh, I've been wanting to go here. What is it? Going to the Netherlands. There's that. So if you want to open that up, that's going to have like little tidbits, little. Uh, little yeah, little uh, things about the country. Some of this stuff is kind of like the U.S. I'm like trying not to read this. 17 million people populate the Netherlands. Shout out to the Netherlands. <laughs> all right, so usually what we do is I'll just put them all out here and then we'll try it one at a time. Does that say bolognese? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, you want to open those up? So this is the croquis bolognese. These unique chips are flavored with the tangy <laughs> tomato. <laughs> Tomato -y goodness of bolognese sauce. That's interesting. Uh, just like every other chip bag, all yeah. air. All air. Mm -hmm. It's not nothing different. Nothing new in the Netherlands, I guess. <laughs> it's probably I don't, I don't, because I don't like that at all. Oh my god. <coughs> <Yeah. laughs> okay. Well, there's that one. Sorry. Mango. Oh my no chip for you, mango. It's not that bad. I like a good chip. I don't know how to say this. I'm gonna let you pronounce that. So these are. Those look like plain pa flavor. Pa Patajay? Jopies? Flavored with, oh my god, listen to this. Like Flavored mustard? with mustard, like mustard yeah. onion, curry, mayo. Oh. That's my that actually show. sounds really good. Really? I don't okay, know. Mango. Let me get it. Oh my god. Was he over here the whole time? <laughs> he just like came I'm up. Not, I'm not used to looking at myself. <laughs> like, like, you want to try a mustard chip? Yeah. Mm. yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's chip. not bad. Mm, there's like the uh, mustard and onion pretzel bits. No, those are good, so wait, actually. do you guys know what the capital of the Netherlands is? Uh, Amsterdam. Yeah, Amsterdam. Ooh, uh, I know I did. <laughs> <laughs> did you really? Oh my god. <laughs> that's what having sisters is like. <laughs> I knew she looked. That's like honey mustard. I actually mm -hmm. want to try one more. That's pretty good. I like those. those. No way. Well, um, it really reminds me of like the, the honey mustard and onion pretzel bits. I forget what the brand is. What, what are they called? The honey oh, mustard yeah. and onion pretzel bits. Um, I think like, uh, I, I forget what they're. They come in like a brown bag. Yellow bag. Maybe it's like a foil. Is it really? like Sanders or something like that? I don't know. Mango. It's really good. I've never had that. <laughs> Pap paprika flavor. <laughs> Where is that? At? I don't have that on here. Oh, Wokels paprika. Wokels. It looks like um a crunchy corn snack with a Fritos. literal twist and dusted in savory paprika. Mm. Does paprika really taste like anything? Yeah. Oh. I like them. I like them. I don't know. It's good. Do you guys um, want a little fun fact? Yes, please. Oh, God. Do you want a fun fact of... Oh, I'm looking. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> well, there are more bikes in the Netherlands than there are people. That I knew. And on How is average, that even possible? Because there's 18 million bikes there and there's yeah. only 17 million 200,000 uh, 671 people. They're very forward thinking when it comes to, um, he's trying to get the thing on that side of the... It's dead. It's yeah. been stuck there <laughs> for a long time. It's a snail. Yeah, um, it's been stuck to the window <laughs> since like the last time it rained. <laughs> it's a very small snail so we don't mind it yeah. and it entertains the cats. <laughs> So they have, um, they're just very forward thinking when it comes to. I actually really like the paprika flavor. Like uh, environmental things know. like that. So, I like the texture of yeah. those chips. All right, here we go. This looks. Oh, is that why they have that many bikes? <laughs> yeah, and that's why like the country is full oh, of. Like, right? <laughs> like, like, what are these? Did you read a word that wasn't? I don't know. It looks like black licorice. I know. I hate black licorice. <laughs> and that was and I hate some buka too. I'm What's like it? the most famous person for facial reactions, there so I'm so sorry. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Oh my god, it is. Yeah. It says the Dutch are serious about black licorice. Oh, they're actually really pretty though. They look like coins. And there can be none of more there I don't can know be if you can see it. none more black than these cla classic. <laughs> I can't even read. 
Oh, they're oh, hard. They're different. I know. I just went to bite through it because it's serious <laughs> business, guys. Oh uh, nope. That's mm. all. That's all I needed. What? I just touched the tip of my tongue. That was enough for me. You don't even get the flavor yet. Eat the coin. We gotta eat it. I Yum. <laughs> Did you swallow it? Oh, dude, that's never gonna go away. This thing's not even being chewed. It's not. You chewed. can't chew it. You're just getting flavor. <laughs> are you? They meant to be eaten? I, are we supposed to do something with these? I know. Do you just chew it on flavor and then spit yeah, it out? That, that is weird. That's no me gusta. I don't know where to put no. it. It's not good at all. No. Uh, here, put it. <laughs> <laughs> put it on here. And like fold it like a piece of gum. You know what I mean? I'll put in pieces. I find really hard. It wouldn't to be it. bad if it was like chewable. Yeah, that is. Yeah, give me something to give me that bolognese bag of chips. We're not eating those, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was a bad too. Sorry, Netherlands. So I'm you so basically sorry. you basically just have to buy one and it'll last you a year. Yeah, it was. Oh my god, no my goes on that. Well, time for another fun fact. Okay. <laughs> On average, <laughs> Dutch men are the tallest people in the entire global world. That's because they have a really good healthcare system. Uh, this flavor treat is often sold. <laughs> <laughs> you did something. I'm going to see it later. Is that a cigar? I think it's a cigar if you want to light it up. Okay. It's a biscotti. It's called a Dutch. Oh, oh is it? <laughs> No, I, no I just know what a Dutch is, so that's why I said it. Well, no, I was. I, oh, yeah. like a Dutch Dutch? Yeah, but I was just joking. All right, so this is a, a classic Dutch snack, cinnamon flavor treat that is often sold. Yeah, it looks sold. like ground cinnamon compacted. That's exactly what it looks like. like. They didn't, even get, they didn't even get created. Oh my God, is it gonna fall apart? <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> thank you. This it's the like, middle that I like. Not the middle of this, but the middle bite. The beginning is strong, then it's okay, and then it gets to like whatever flavor that is. Well, cinnamon helps on un unsettled bellies, so this really? is good after that. Oh, I, I like it. That's it weird. tastes like a ginger snap, and then not at the same time. Yeah, I don't know what that look. They have very interesting taste buds there. Mm -hmm. Did you guys ever eat the... Carnations, Carnations used to make these like little, little uh, rounded uh, like snacks, and you would open it up and it would crumble. No, am I aging myself? Okay. Well, you gotta tell us more. Yeah, about but it. that's that's all I know about it though. It's it's made by Carnation though. It's Wait, almost what is like it? it's like if this stuff was a little softer and it was you would like crumble it down and you would eat it like that. I don't know if that was. Was it like multicolor? Was it no. supposed to go on top of something else? No, you just ate it like that. It's I that, really it's like that, it. it's that. I mean, it's okay. It's that color. This is a good combination. It was a Take lot a bite. Me. Take a bite. All right, here we Paprika go. Paprika and cinnamon. Ooh, I love gummies. I think I just like the paprika. I love gummies too. I don't know how to say that again. Zuar, not juice. They're made out of veggies. Yeah. What? It's like a veggie gummy. Ketchup. Where do you see that? Oh, it shows it's a, a kitty, kitty cat. Logo. We love cats. It says, where do you see, <laughs> where do you see vegetables on there? I love veggies. It doesn't and say it says anything about with, here on veggies. You know what? It's probably vegetarian because gelatin is made from animals. So. We're vegans. We, we love, we love veggies. We're vegans now. I've never seen Chris make that face before. Oh, we're some lesbians. Anybody wanna? There we go. Down the hatch. <laughs> now I feel like I've got to defend that. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I like them. Time for another fast fact. <laughs> the audio mm. tape, the videotape, and the CD were all mm. invented by a Dutch company, Philips. Mm. Well, these are the best. They're like mm. more head on the airhead thingies. Yeah. Delicious. Mm. I like Where can we get more of these? That's my favorite one. Right? Mm -hmm. Just because they have a cat on it. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Keeping it on the fruit tip. We got a little situation here. I wonder if those are like not not non layers. What are those little things? Mentos, um, fruit toast, mambas. No, the the square one, Starburst. Oh. Mm, I hope they're. <laughs> I hope they're like Starburst. Anybody have a particular flavor? It looks like we got green apple, grape, yellow. I like uh, apple. Yeah. What is the yellow? Is it banana? Looks like lemon. Nah. Oh. Raspberry. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm taking a green one. Yeah. Oh, 
please be soft. I hate hard candy. Except for Werther's. I oh, love the, Werther's. I actually like the now and later. It's like the it's ones soft. that you would break your teeth on. And I like the Werther's. Mm. These are okay, but you know it's going to last like five seconds. No, it's done. What's up? I wish this was banana. Okay, five seconds for these. I'm trying to for these. <laughs> like, mix it up a little bit. All mm -hmm. right, here we go. This is a, I can't say this again, Antepejuktukuk. A classic Dutch treat. That's good. That's yeah, pretty good, right? Yeah. The gingerbread. It's been mm. baked in the Netherlands almost 130 years. Mm. So they, they must really like it, which means we're not going to like it. Okay, I'm taking a small bite then. <laughs> You're so good. Oh, I was trying not to let the paper fall everywhere. <laughs> it wasn't made 130 years ago. But it's been made in like, like oh, a traditional. I thought it was like sitting it's like a somewhere for like 130 thing. years. What were we thinking? Pumpkin? Oh, is it pumpkin? No. I didn't read pumpkin. No, it looks like pumpkin. It tastes like a spice cake. Nah. Nothing. Yeah. That looks good. Like you gotta have that with like coffee or or not at all. <laughs> Keep it real. I'm getting confused on which one's my like palate cleanser here. Keep it real. No, oh, here we go. Windmill cookies. There's only two, so you guys can have those. We can share. Yeah, we'll break ours in half. Uh -huh. That was my way of saying I didn't want it, but. It's not that bad. easy. <laughs> it's okay, they crumble. I tried. Apart. I tried. I'll take that. Take a a for effort. It's good. This is the most traditional mm. stack form. I'm sorry. Really good. On a Dutch are known for winning. And you too. know what these are like? Those cookies that they give you on the airplane. Like the biscotti type cookies for their cookie form. Mm. That was good. That was really good. I like them. I'm still on the spicy. For the you spice don't cake. Need this what did you call it? <laughs> They're like they like their spice like stuff like cinnamon and mm, yeah this is good yeah I like that that's good oh here's another fun fact which goes with the coin Dutch the Dutch are the largest consumers of licorice eating over seventy million pounds every year they can have good it. on them and that's why they're so tall you think it's For a black licorice, licorice? yep okay. no. good on them. <laughs> Honestly, this Carissa can tell you something and you can tell her wrong. I know. <laughs> I'm starting to learn that little by little. Little All by right, little. Guys. Waffle time. Oh, that looks good. That, look, that looks really good. That looks like something with coffee. Stru that looks like something that does come on a plane. Stroop waffle. Oh my god, I can't even open up. Stroop waffle. Crunchy waffles filled with Is creamy caramel. Yeah. Placed Ooh. on a cup of hot coffee or tea to soften the caramel. Mm. Ooh, that's a good idea. I mean, too late. <laughs> I was like, I mean, next time we'll make some tea. I was like, wow, this really is kind of like hard to break, but it's. Mm. I think there's two of them there. Oh, really? Double decker? Mmm. Eh. Stroop it Give me that cookie back. That's it. That sounded too, uh, too German. There we go. That's not bad. Yeah. That's okay. You can tell that you're supposed to have that with like a hot drink or something. I just really, I don't know, there's like a lot of this, I just wouldn't think about even eating. Like it would just sit in the space. All right, last thing here. This is you called, just throw it. these are called the Raidmakers Hobjes. I'm making all that stuff up. It's coffee flavored candy, hard candies. Mmm. Does it actually have caffeine? Just that. I don't know. But they've been made since the 1700s, so again, we probably might not like it. Well, Wait, don't they actually make like coffee chews? What? I have ca ca coffee chews, like they actually have caffeine. I think I got a crumb in my eye. Who makes that? <laughs> coffee chew? Who makes that? Uh, like Starbucks? I think that's German. Oh, it is so good. Um, you like it? Mmm. Mmm. I wonder, yeah, is okay. it the kind of, can is it like a Werther's? It's going to be hard the whole time? Better than Werther's. Move out of the way, Werther's. There's a new champ in town. Okay, last fun fact. All right, good, good. I have to be in the mood for that. <clears throat> Known globally, I so think the I have Netherlands. A rum in my fridge. <laughs> Maybe I'll look at it. <laughs> so the Netherlands is known as the flower shop of the world. Oh, that I know. Oh, yeah. really? More than seventy-five percent of the world's flower flowers bulbs come from the Netherlands each year. That's, cute. Yeah, that's awesome. I know I've seen photos where it's like the fields, like that kind of mm. towards the bottom. You guys heard of tulip mania? 
No, where's that? I think there's yeah. only been like five huge economic crises in the world, and Tulip Mania uh, is one of them. Yeah. It's, Google it. What was it? It was also it. something from China, too. Look at this dog right yeah. here. It was, um, yeah, it was a form of currency, essentially. Really? Yeah, it was really cool, but it like crashed the world's economy. Well, because somebody brought tulips to the U.S. Sorry. And it was during, I think it was like during our industrial time. So you're coming. But that's why Google would be better. <laughs> but <laughs> um, okay. essentially, people were like using one flower in exchange for property. So yeah. somebody was acquiring it's houses crazy. for the flowers, and now we know tulips do not live that long once they're <laughs> cut. And so people were realizing very quickly what a bad deal they were making, but it was too late. <laughs> This is soda. Yeah, so every single snack crate also comes with a drink from that country. So this Exciting. is. Pass that down. This is Fernandez. It's the guy from uh, East Providence. I know. Oh, thank him. you. And this is a sweet and sparkly cherry soda, and it is very popular throughout the Netherlands. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. That's it's sugar. Good. That's sugary though. Was that just me? But it is good though. You mix this with a little vodka. Ooh. <laughs> Party. Ooh. Just that got, just goes so much just better. Got turned up. Turn this bad boy yeah, into right. a hard seltzer. We're Sales dead. go right through the roof. <laughs> We're down for that. <laughs> different video. Different video. <laughs> All right. So this is the part that I like to rate mm. these. So I'm gonna rate mine. I like the Wolfen, the Stupin Wolfen. Which one was the Stupin Wolfen? The Stupin Wolfen. It sounds like you're the, saying the, stupid woman. Oh. <laughs> oh. No, stupid well, waffles. Even if she was. <laughs> even if she was. <laughs> <laughs> even if she was. Even if she was. I just wouldn't say anything. <laughs> um, these are my favorite. I like these. Okay. What so it's got? tough to say because they're gotta pick one. different. Gotta pick one. This one. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. The honey really? mustard. It just reminds me of those pretzel bits. Mm. And they, honestly, I kind of really like this now. Yeah, <laughs> that is good. Oh, man. I guess I'm going to just do this little cookie because I feel pressured to pick something. <laughs> Windmill cookie. That's it. But actually, now that I'm thinking about it, these were the ones I kept going back for. You kept back going for. back for those, yeah. But oh, I do really love too. honey mustard and onion. So it's like this. And those. <laughs> so crazy. Oh, and then this was really good. I like how we picked all different favorites as when we ate these. Like these sour those things. Those were good. That's one, that, I forgot about these actually. Those, that was gonna be my second, my second place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are good. Yeah, yeah. they have like a I'm lot of sugar. I'm changing my mind. Do that. All right, change so, it. For sugar, those ones salty. Those ones. All right, all right, guys. Thank you so much, Snack Crate. That was fun. I uh, can't wait for the next month. I, I'm hoping for something a little more exotic. What? Like Canada and Russia and this, like. Cool. They're warming you up. Yeah, you think that's what it is? Yeah. Okay. Japanese. Ja yeah, see, Japanese. I, want, I want something like Asian or like mm -hmm. African or something. Mm. Some nice African treats. Yeah. So thank you so much, Snack uh, Snack Crate. Uh, put the description link down below. And we're actually next, we're doing a spicy noodle challenge, guys. So <laughs> if I'm wearing the same clothes, that's why <laughs> I do shower. Um, so we're going to go get prepared for that. And until next time, please like, comment, subscribe. What's wrong? I'm just thinking about the spicy noodle. Oh. It's going to be so much fun. It's going to hurt. I'm going to enjoy watching them do it. <laughs> and until next time, guys, please like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, be well. Sleep well. <laughs> I was so confused. <laughs> I thought I was waiting for the end. Eat well. <laughs> and take care of each other. Bye. Bye. <laughs> there you go. <laughs>